the terror in his eyes burrowed into me like the shriek of a raven on a cold night. Turn back, he said, through the voice of our guide. We made camp as the air grew dark and the rustling of the trees only caressed our fierce, fueled them like the fire that burned before us. I noticed a change in our interpreter after we were given a warning. We all heard the same message, but I think he heard more. I saw it in his eyes, the way he looked at the man who spoke with us on the beach. Perhaps he spared us, or if I indeed hail, or perhaps it was the tone of the words, the message belied. Either way, he had not stopped sweating, not unwound one bit since we entered the wilds. It had been like traveling with an overtuned violin, set to snap and unravel at any given moment. I found an odd comfort to find him missing the next morning. Jose Dominguez, an astute navigator, said he saw something as he made water away from our encampment. He said it looked like a man, but it was standing up high in the trees like a bird. He said its body was bare and it wore the bone white skull of a cow as a mask. He said it dropped as soon as he saw it. it did not seem to make a sound or cause a rustle as it fell. The men had begun to question my sanity. One of them turned to walk back on his own. I told him his country would not accept him back. Told him he would be jailed and his property would be seized. There was no turning back for any of us. The other men joined in and asked me to give up. Asked me to turn back the way we came and go back to Spain with our tails between our legs and our hats in our hands. I had to show them my pistola to quiet them up. We ventured on. As we camped, the shadows played tricks with our eyes. I saw a face staring back at me from the darkness within the trees. Things were moving all around us in the midnight mists of the jungle. I should have listened to them. They were bigger than we thought they'd be. Not human. Some of their masks had antlers, while others had fangs. One of them seemed to wear the skull of a jaguar, with a set of long front teeth the likes of which I had never seen. Their hollow eyes stared down at us from the circle they formed around our camp. I asked them what they wanted, but the leader only turned his hollow gaze in my direction and snarled. I shot him. They all roared and dove upon us. Dominguez was pulled up by the sockets of his eyes, while Enrique, our best marksman, threw a rock at another. Missed. The big one went straight for me. Wasn't affected at all by the scattershot I put in his belly. It grabbed me by the face with leathery talons and it seemed to crack my head wide open on the rock upon which I had been sitting. All went black after that. I awoke in the morning to the smell of pork cooking and realized just how hungry I was. My face felt strange. It was stiff. It was as though it were now encased by a shell. Or a mask. A leg was roasting on the fire. A human leg. My new brothers beckoned me to feed with the slow wave of a talent hand. And the hunger. Oh. The hunger. Well, that 
that's it. I hope you liked it. Tell me what you think. I'm on Twitter. I'll have a poll, maybe. See which one of these, because I, I got all these stories I want to tell, but I don't know which one, which one is really bad. I mean, I love them all, but I only got so much time, you know? So I got to figure out which, which story I should do first. I'm going to do a few. Um, and let's see what y'all think. Um, and now I'm just going to kind of sit here and, uh, you know, see who's on, see who wants to talk. Um, see how everybody's doing. I had to, I, that was like the, I've done, I've read that and edited it like at least, at least 15 times. And finally, finally, I didn't make any mistakes while I was reading it. I didn't say the wrong word or stall or stammer or whatever. So, what would it do? whoop a dee do I have no idea. Who is watching this, but thank you. Thank you for watching. Um, I wasn't paying attention. You may have missed my, uh, my story, but if you caught it, I'd like to know what you think. Um, I started writing this story like maybe 15 years ago. Uh, yeah, 15 years maybe. And, uh, it's, uh, it's a whole thing. Um, I kind of have an, an idea where it's going. It's, uh, it's pretty unique, I think. Um, I, I really should have written it a long while ago because then, uh, There wasn't much out. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's just like the prologue. And we'll see. See where it goes. But, um, that's it. Um, if you're not following, please drop a follow. And, uh, I'll be putting more up, doing more performances, um, maybe reading some, some books, some short stories. Uh, I was thinking, uh, maybe some Stephen King short stories. And, uh, we'll see, we'll see where it goes. So... That's that. A little bit of uh, fireplace going now. It's for, you know, relaxing. Maxing, relaxing. Ooh. 
I suppose this is a good place to end it. Getting some drop frames as usual. Always cool, always fun. I'd love to get some 5G going, you know? With that 5G! Alright. I wonder if the 5G has latency. Satellite dishes and satellite internet, I think, has latency of like one second, which is crazy. 